Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Uh, welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I'm so excited because this is my first Movie Monday with our brand new catalog. So this is now live. It started on June 1st. And if you do not have a copy, you've got to get yourself one. So if you don't have it yet, ask me. Um, I can definitely help you. Or if you have a demonstrator that you work with, touch base with them. You can always check it out online at www.jodybreckbill.stampinup.net. Um, first thing I do when I get my catalog is I take it to Staples and I have my um, spiral bonding put in. It just makes it so much nicer when you're looking through your catalog and it lays nice and flat. And it's just, it's a wonderful addition to your catalog. Now this year, I don't know why, they didn't charge me extra, but they put a clear copy on the front and then they did like a little extra backing on it. I didn't ask for it and I didn't pay for it, but that's what they did this year. So um, <clears throat> anyway, grab yourself a copy. If you don't have it again, let me know. But I wanted to share our project today. It is, we're gonna use the, the Love What You Do stamp set. This is in the new catalog, brand new stamp set. Absolutely loving it. This was our special for May, which is now over, but you can get this product uh, in the catalog anytime now. And I just, I'm really digging this stamp set as well as the coordinating DSP, the designer series paper that comes with it because it's absolutely gorgeous. So here's what we made in wow class last week. And this is an adorable little gift bag out of a 12 by or two 12 by 12 pieces of the share what you love designer series paper. This paper works perfectly for, um, creating these 3d projects because it's a little it's a little thicker so it really scores well and works well and can hold up to you know putting something inside this gift bag the other great thing is it's got a little card holder on the front and so this little flap will hold your card when you go to give it to your friend and uh, this is actually a case from Rhonda Wade. She did this on one of her Facebook Lives a couple weeks ago. And so I want to share my version of it with you. So what we're going to do is take, let me find all my goods here. <clears throat> my desk gets a little bit full. So we need our scoring tool. I'll make sure you're able to see where I'm scoring here. And we need one 12 by 12 piece. Now you're going to need two of the same paper okay you're going to need two two of the same matching to create your box so we're going to take our full 12 by 12 and we're going to score three sides at three inches and then the final side is going to be scored at one inch Whoops, that jumped off the track. Try again. Okay, so we've got that one. Then I took a piece of 12 by 12, <clears throat> same pattern, and I cut it, I cut four inches off, okay? So now I have an eight by 12 piece. Then this piece I took and I cut an inch and a half off of the bottom. So it is now 10 and a half by four, and this is what's going to be your card. So the great thing about this project is um, that one or two sheets of 12 by 12 are gonna give you the bag and the card as well. So we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna score, you're gonna have your eight inch at the top and I'm gonna score at one inch. Turn it around and do one inch. I'm gonna do one inch across this way and three inches on the bottom, okay? So when you look at it this way, you're gonna have a one inch, a one inch, a one inch. This one down here is a three inch. So I'm done with the scoring tool. So let me get that out of the way. And I'm gonna grab a bone folder and I just want to make sure that I am <clears throat> making these scores nice and crisp here. And then that's gonna help my bag go together much, much better when these scores are nice and crisp. My three inch is gonna get scored because this is actually now, this has become the bottom of my bag. It's a little, you're a little bit off there. Why so? make you work a little bit here 
Okay, so I have all these ready to fold in because this will be the front of my bag, but the top, that one inch score, I'm gonna fold it backwards. And I apologize because this video is gonna go a little bit long because this is a little bit of a project here. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna just go right up on this score line here and I'm gonna free these little flaps. So I'm only cutting up to the three inch line that I made. Okay, so that one's done. Now it's time for this one. Fold these guys here. Okay, there's my top, that one inch, and that's gonna fold backwards. Now this one is not a problem, but if you do have some, some flowers or you do have, if you're using a piece of DSP that is directional, like, um, you know, you have to make sure your flowers are going the right way, you do want to use caution of where you're scoring so when you fold this piece backwards, it's not um, upside down or anything like that. But this one, this one is not directional, so... I don't have to be concerned about that much at all. Okay, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to free these bigger flaps here on the bottom. Okay, so it's starting to come along. It's starting to look like a bag. So I'm going to flip this backwards and I'm going to use some tear and tape. And I'm just going to do a nice long strip right across the top of my bag. I want that whole piece to flip backwards and hold well. So um, the key to doing these 3D projects is making sure that you use a nice, strong adhesive. And I can tell you from experience that snail adhesive is not gonna cut it. It just makes it fall apart. It's just not strong enough to hold that. Okay, so now while I have this piece, I'm gonna do a couple strips here on that bottom flap, or these, I guess these are like little side flaps here. This is what's gonna end up holding my, my bag together. Okay, so I'm gonna do both sides. I like the tear and tape, it's pretty easy to work with. Um, and I like that you can put it on and as you're ready to use it, you just start to peel it, peel it off so it's not sticky the whole time. So while I have the tape out, I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece and do the exact same thing to it. Um, you could definitely use Fast Fuse. Now we no longer carry Fast Fuse at, with Stampin' Up, but um, you, you may still have some and you could definitely use that. Now what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna do a whole, well, let me, let me go ahead and tack this down here. Um, probably the Tombow multi-purpose glue would work as well. So I'm gonna do a whole strip of sticky strip right down across this piece as well, because this is how it's going to attach to the other side of my bag. Alrighty, make sure it's good and stuck there. So I'm gonna come back with this piece and I'm gonna peel these guys off. And now I want to make sure this is nice and, and crisp right there because it's got to hold that, hold that shape. And then this piece is going to come in just like that and I'm going to attach that and that's creating the bottom fold of my box. And then I'll do the same with this flap. Peel these guys off here.
maybe, maybe. Come on, there we go. And then that's just gonna come in here, kind of match up those seams. And now I've got half of my bag. So then we're gonna take this piece here, and again, I wanna make sure these are, these folds right here are nice and crisp. Use your bone folder if you need to. I'm gonna peel this guy off. I think I've, I'm kind of flipping around a lot. I hope you guys are following me. So now this little guy comes in here like so, and that is going to attach to that flap. And the same on this side. So this is creating the back half of my bag. Okay, so see how, and now I've got adhesive down both these sides, but what I do want to do, and this is where your snail adhesive can come in, is I'm just going to do some strips of snail on the inside here of the bottom, just so these two bottoms go together okay. And I did an extra little strip right across here at that seam. And then it is just going to fit right inside there. And you're going to match up maybe. Come on, you don't want to sit in there today. Let's try this side. And these seams are just going to match up right like that. There we go. Now you went inside there like you were supposed to. And just carefully match up these seams. There you go. So I like to kind of stick my hand in there and just kind of make sure everything is nice and nice and tight. And there you have a gorgeous gift bag all ready for a wedding or a graduation or a birthday. Okay, so now our next step is that we're going to make our card. So I just took that extra piece, like I said, I cut the cut off 10 and, or cut off an inch and a half. So it's 10 and a half by four. I'm going to fold that one in half. And what you could do if you wanted it to match, or you could flip it over and have it be on the other side. So it's you could have it match, you could have it be the opposite side, uh, either way that suits you. And I took a piece of basic black and I'm going to attach that to the back side of my card. And now I'm kind of wondering, maybe I do want, that would really, that would really kind of contrast and stick out a little bit more. And then this would be my inside. I don't know. All right, we're just gonna go traditional here. So get some snail adhesive on the back of that. <clears throat> and then attach that to the basic black background and I'll make sure you guys have dimensionals later. I took a piece of another piece of basic black, just a little strip across the front. Attach that on here. Now we need to do a little bit of stamping and I took my memento ink and I punched out, hmm, I think this might be a two and a quarter inch circle maybe. I think it's two and a quarter. And I attach that to a piece that I die cut out with our la layering circles that one on here then I took maybe where are they I lost my oh here my here's my twine I took some of our silver and white Baker's twine and just did a double bow so I've got two pieces here and a little glue dot and I'm going to attach that onto my card Just 
just gonna hang out right there. And then finally some dimensionals. And look what's on my table. It's like down to down to the bare nubs. So I always like to use these little extra sides. They work just fine. Just snip them to the size that you need and you're good to go. Couple dimensionals on here. There we are, and then on the inside, I took a whisper white piece just so that I could do my do my sentiment on there. So that'll go on the inside like this. And there's my card. So it's a very quick and simple card. Um, then I took a piece of basic black. <clears throat> this is what's going to make my card hanger, and I used our classic label punch. And I'm going to stick this one in so that it's all as far up as I can get it. Um, so it's nice and tight and straight. And then I kind of used this as my guide here and I kept it at the edge. And I'm just gonna keep sliding it over. Making sure again that it's nice and tight at the bottom. And then finally, again, over at this edge. And that makes a really nice little strip. And if you get any that are a little fishy, you just kind of trim them off. Okay, so I took a piece of the tear and tape and just went right across the top here, the thinnest end. And I'll attach that to my bag. And that's how my, my card will hold. And I just kind of made sure that I had um, so like here's where my seam is so I figured that's the back of my bag and so then this would be the front and I just kind of went right up to where the little the DSP folds over and put that on and then this will just slide right down inside and you've got a little hanger for your bag then the final step which you guys don't have to watch I would just wrap some ribbon around here and then attach a bow which it was here and now I've lost it now it's on the floor behind me so anyway I would just attach some ribbon now the other thing that you could do is you could put holes in here and then you could do like ribbon handles if you wanted to do that so there's a lot that you could do here's how it would look then um, with the ribbon on there so I just wanted to show you real quick and again um, thank you to Rhonda Wade for this tutorial and I got I hope you guys enjoy it so thanks so much for dropping by you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for movie Monday